second, our small octopus family was gone. This day is just getting better and better. Ooh, this one is nice. nice. This is me. And this is the love of my life and partner in crime. <sighs> Two years ago, we traded our stable corporate lives for more adventurous and sustainable lives as digital nomads at sea. Follow along as we discover new places and build our businesses one anchorage at a time. Today, we are not leaving yet, <laughs> nearly. We are getting off the main island to Marigalan in order to be closer to Dominica. Then we will go tomorrow, if all goes well, into Dominica to be in quarantine for five days. And then we stay there for 21 days so we can go further south to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. She's excited, are you excited? Excited. She's just tired. at Marigalante where we spent the night because we needed to wait for our PCR test results and the confirmation from the Dominican government to be allowed to enter. We just got our negative test and the confirmation half an hour ago so we are now finally after four months leaving Guadalupe. It was an amazing time, it was really beautiful, we did a lot of boat drops but we are definitely ready to go sailing again. Not only cutting through air like butter, but also through fishing lines. So it was like ding, and our small octopus family was gone. Luckily, no more damage to the wind generator. Yeah, the wind generator is fine.
thing you uh, thing you from there. <laughs> oh. The sail from Marigalante to Dominica can be quite rough. Like many channels between Caribbean islands, it is a place of increased wave activity and winds like to build up to squeeze between the islands. But we enjoyed a great sail reaching speeds up to 7 knots and enjoyed nature's spectacle. and we just threw out the fishing rods again because here in front there is this very shallow point and once we arrived there were just so many birds around that we knew there was some action going but it looks like we came too late but it's okay we already have two nice fish on board oh what's that was uh, i think that's no. only seaweed on this Welcome to Dominica, Michael. We have water in the build. Here, for all of you, the first look to Dominica. But you're probably not going to see it for a while because we will have to fix this one first, as always. Same. No. You again the hot water pipe? Hot water pipe. Some people have been asking us why do you have such a nice and clean build? <laughs> that is the reason because literally every four or five months something like this happens. I think we we own now for two now for two and a half years and we have cleaned out the build five, six times? Yeah probably. At least. <laughs> so we're quite in the routine now. Unfortunately we also have two bags with our winter clothes down there so uh those obviously also got wet even if they're kind of you know how do you say waterproof yeah. even if they're kind of waterproof when there's so much water in it it's just yeah not really working um i just took everything out to get dried <laughs> and now a huge rain shower is coming so i had to take everything in stage <laughs> just getting better and better <laughs> Yeah. We arrived super exhausted and all the water was in our bilge so we cleaned that but luckily we caught some tuna small bonito which we will make tataki now and enjoy some nice dinner at least after this wet crossing we caught some bonito small tunas and we are always making it on the gas directly, so that's the only thing we are grilling basically inside. 
So very simple, you just put it on skewers like this, a bit of salt on the, the skin and then it gets very crusty. Barbecue boat style. <laughs> Ooh. This one is nice. So the secret is to burn it until it smells like charcoal. It smells like really nicely burnt, like wood. And the skin should be a bit crisp. Then it's like really nice. Ooh, nice. Small table, we forgot the big table. <sighs> Too rainy for the big table. Too many more good passages and good cats. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Mmm, delicious! Delicious tuna! Now you should definitely try it. This was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you see, give us a like or a comment that would really help. Or subscribe. Come back next week when we go on land on Dominica and check its beautiful nature. Don't forget, we have a Patreon Discord. So a group where all our patrons are at, fellow sailors and friends, and we share some close-up details into our finances. So if you ever wonder how much we spend or what crazy things are going on live, and you wanna ask us anything, join our Patreon, link is in the description, get part of our Discord community, and you have a direct link to us anytime, everywhere in the world. Thank you!